rather nice Wiltshire wool. Split flints. Some sandstone. The top's been repaired. The tiling's there to stop the weathering. This is a rather nicer section of wall and probably the part of the original when this wall garden was created. You can see here some true artisan influences, well quality of work. There we are. Surprised it hasn't got a key um, cornerstone. Over the years the wall has blown and it's been replaced. Uh, it was rebuilt and then daubed on the outside. So it was casually put together. The daub is made from chalk. This is a, a chalk clay area. They've used a combination and then they gave it a rendering on the outside with some lime involved um, interred with the aggregate. Well that's my assumption anyway. The wall probably failed and was rebuilt at a later time, probably the last 30 years. Someone's had an attempt at making up daub with the chalk soil, incorporating small aggregate, some straw, and added some cement. The purists will say, well, you should be adding slack lime, but cement is more easily. They've capped it again. The wall had obviously, I think, possibly been created, or it may have been added. And it looks, the style of the brickwork is, is very nice. So you're looking probably about 18, 1850s. It might be earlier, it could be Georgian. They've used, let's see what bomb they've used on it. Mm, they've tied it through. It's uh, You've got some ends there. And then they've offset the joints. If you can just see that. Beautiful period. Here's a close-up of the aggregate that were used at that particular time. So they were still in touch with the original method of building a wall. This is later and although it's uh, again it has somewhat of an appeal, I'm not sure if the straw was necessary in it and it doesn't seem looking at the older parts of the wall that the straw had any straw had been incorporated at all. And it would need it to have been chopped finer anyway. But there we are, someone's had an attempt. Boarded it, although they boarded it and then I think just infilled it. But there we are, so at least the styling can give you some inspiration and ideas and thoughts if you were creating or recreating or needed to remedy any, um, any sort of similar problems. The tiling on top is rather interesting if you look at the waveform of the tile like a pan towel. These look quite old. They're ridges on the top. They look very old. Probably re reclaimed from an old building. But I have seen similar walls with a thatched capping. So obviously the tile is a easier, less complicated, less expensive option. But this is a lovely old walled garden. I suppose the property itself was, I don't know, it's got to be several hundred years old.
some lovely properties in Wiltshire. Of course it was a very prosperous area with sheep farming and uh, agriculture. Hope it's inspired and hope to visit the area. If you're interested in brickwork, Georgian properties, all that period of time where there was vast affluence. There we are, lovely bit of parkland here, some lovely trees. My favourite type of industrialised wrought fencing around the edge. Idyllic. <laughs>